Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you guys are enjoying the content that we're throwing up. And uh, make sure you guys hit the like button if you enjoy the video. And yeah, let's begin. So I was sitting here thinking what my second video today was gonna be. And and the more I thought about it, the more I was like, you know, we haven't really had a discussion for a little while on, on stories. And I thought it'd be kind of interesting to have this conversation talking about deceased versus Marvel zombies, right? Because I feel like this is a huge talking point across comic book fandom, right? I've been seeing all kinds of Reddit posts about it, different things like that. And it's, it's an interesting concept. It's a good question, right? Because, you know, Marvel zombies resurrection has just recently come back in Marvel comics, right? They did issue number zero, basically kind of like the, the prelude or the prologue or whatever you want to call it, setting everything up and kind Kind of establishing hey this is the general idea and then a year later we get issue number one i don't know why they chose to wait a year my only guess and and i still kind of stand by this i feel like marvel learned that dc was going to do a zombie story and they wanted to kind of quote unquote beat them to the punch but they didn't really have a plan for it they didn't really know what it was going to look like they just kind of wanted to get issue number zero out there and say hey guys we got zombies coming back and i think the biggest problem with that is in the time they waited dc launched deceased and it's proved to be a highly successful story but in terms of of the concepts between these two you know looking at these 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 stories you can kind of go with Marvel Zombies Resurrection. The issue with that is, is twofold. First, I think it's a very lackluster story in comparison to the original Zombies. Of course, they had two distinctly different tones. And two, because of the fact that Marvel Zombies Resurrection isn't really fleshed out, there's not a whole lot that we can do there, right? I mean, we can kind of look at what we have so far and say, okay, so basically like there's a plague that led to people becoming infected with a zombie virus and now they're on Earth. But looking at these differences, and this even extends to DCs, looking at these differences, the original Marvel Zombies by Robert Kirkman was uh, kind of like a dark comedy comedy. You couldn't really go into it expecting something serious. I mean, I guess you could have when you heard Marvel Zombies, but by the time you get maybe even a few pages into issue number one, it starts off pretty dark with most everything being eaten and then the characters get a little silly. And I agree with most people in saying that Marvel Zombies went off the rails like really fast. And nonetheless, you know, it was kind of a dark comedy story. You know, by the time he finished Marvel Zombies 1, Marvel Zombies 2, it was pretty dark. By the time he got into like Army of Darkness, Dead Days, things like that, it was like, okay, you know, this is uh, getting a little campy. And, and I guess Marvel was really wanting to play into that but Deceased is a wholly different tone. Right? You know, Deceased is not a story where it's told from the perspective of the dead. It's not really campy and it's not really a dark comedy. It's just a dark story. And, and it's kind of interesting because the only time we ever really saw a story involving zombies from DC Comics came with uh, Blackest Night. And Blackest Night was just designed to be a kind of soft reboot, right? I mean, that's one of the things that we've talked about before. That the Blackest Night event was DC kind of looking at the landscape of heroes that had been killed off over the course of, you know, all the events that took place after Crisis on Infinite Earth, and then asking the question, how do we bring them back, right? And so you basically, you know, all the dead heroes are resurrected in Blackest Night, and then in Brightest Day, DC only chooses to keep a few. They are purified of the Black Lantern deathness, whatever it is, you know, using a White Lantern ring, and ultimately they stay alive. It served that purpose, but in terms of it being like a tried and true zombie story, it wasn't really the case, right? It wasn't anything like Deceased. Uh, if I'm being honest with you guys, I kind of think the thing that really elevates Deceased is Hope at World's End by Tom Taylor. It feels a lot like Injustice, except a zombie story. And I don't mean to say that because I think the Tom Taylor kind of typecasts and as far as his writing goes, it's just the, the kind of, you know, it's nice to see it sort of fill in the gaps, right? You know, for us to kind of get this main story and then, you know, Hope at World's End effectively being a tie-in series, you know, that just kind of gives us all the little mortar between the bricks and, and so on and so forth. But I think in comparison to the original Marvel Zombies, I think that Deceased is a lot more in-depth, but it's also less grand in scale, at least so far, right? Because with Marvel Zombies, you saw like Galactus showing up and then they ate Galactus and they took off and they ate the universe and all that kind of stuff so it was a lot more a lot more expanded in that way there were a lot of things that we didn't see which is kind of where that expansion falls short you don't really see the marvel zombies fighting against like the kree or the scrolls or anything along those lines you don't really see how they fare against like the cosmic entities and so on and so forth instead you know it was just kind of you know like we you know the incredible hulk ate everything out there in existence and now here we are <laughs> and that's basically it um but there is a lot more world uh, world building that goes on in deceased and i think because of that you know if, if you kind of have to compare pound for pound i would definitely say deceased really seems to come out on top. But the cool thing is because we're only one issue in to Marvel Zombies Resurrection, it could prove to be wildly successful. Just from what I've seen, again, you know, it's... It doesn't really quite grab me the way that DCs did. And in all honesty, I think it's only really fair for us as comic book fans to sit down and read that story and to not really be able to help but compare it to DCs, right? Because it's Marvel's more recent zombie story and, and really kind of seems to be an answer to what DC is doing. You know, I think that, that having characters like Franklin Richards, you know, creates a lot of interest and intrigue, especially when we when we th start throwing in characters like Blue Marvel, right? Adam Brashear, or we see the Spider-Man's being uh, depicted in a different way, right? He's not a zombie this time, right? And we don't really know what all went down. I think the time will tell, right? 
right? I mean, it's only a four issue limited series. The real question to ask here is whether or not Marvel is going to do what DC, what, what DC Comics did. Because I think that when the original DC comic came out and the comic book finished, we had more questions that were left unanswered than we had questions that were answered. Is Superman going to come back? What's going to happen to the heroes? Did they just bail on Earth and, and that's it? Like, was there anybody left behind? Because there were a lot of familiar faces that we did not see in DC, right? Red Hood was one of the most notable examples, right? When we were covering that story, when the comic came out and you saw it all over social media, everybody was asking what happened to Jason Todd, right? Like, where's the Red Hood in all of this? Where are characters like Deathstroke? And where are characters like, like Ra's al Ghul and, and, and all that kind of stuff? You know, and we're getting answers to those questions now. But I, I think that, that adding a companion series to fill in and answer all those questions was a huge benefit for the DC stories. Whether or not Marvel will do that, I don't know. And, and what I'm kind of afraid of here is, is Marvel's got enough popular titles going already, right? They've got, you know, uh, what is it? Avengers by Jason Aaron. You know, he just finished his Thor run, which is probably one of the greatest Thor runs of all time. You've got Venom by Donnie Cates. You've got Guardians of the Galaxy that's being written. You have ta Coates, Captain America, which is probably one of the best stories that nobody's reading. Uh, you have a lot of these really cool comics coming out. And I'm afraid that the zombies line is kind of considered to be an, uh, an afterthought. And I think for DC, that was even the case as well. DC was just kind of like a story that we're doing, you know, and that was it. And then because it proved to be so popular, I think DC was like, oh, wait a minute, guys. <laughs> I think we got a winner on our hands here. Okay, Tom Taylor, uh, fill in the gaps. <laughs> and that was that was basically what it turned into. But I'm kind of afraid that with Marvel Zombies Resurrection, that Marvel is so eager to create something that can offer competition to DC Comics that they're going to rush it, right? They're just going to kind of rush it out. It's going to be sort of slammed together and just thrown out there. And if we do end up getting a kind of companion series, then it's just going to be sort of haphazardly thrown together. Not a whole lot of thought's going to go into it. But again, we're only one issue in, right? So it's not really fair to compare the singular issue that came out with Marvel Zombies Resurrection to what happened with Deceased, right? Because if you look at the Deceased comic, even issue number one, if Batman hadn't died in the first issue, it would have just been like, okay, but like that was the big thing that happened. And it was like, man, things are really dark, right? Outside of that, it would not have been a very adventurous line of, uh, you know, a very adventurous first issue. And so again, you know, I think it's important to kind of, you know, kind of give Marvel Zombies Resurrection time to see how it compares. But as far as Deceased versus the original Marvel Zombies, my vote goes to Deceased. I think it's, it's, it's more tried and true of what I would expect from a zombie story uh, from comics, right? Like a darker story, like a darker take on the zombie mythos. A lot of the major characters that we would expect to, to live through the experience have all died, right? So it's very Earth 2 in that way, right? You know, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman all died in the first issue of Earth 2, right? And then you just got uh, all the other characters that came after that. But again, you know, just, just kind of my thoughts here. And I'm curious, you know, how do you guys feel? You know, leave some comments down below. I'm, I'm, I'm curious what your all's take is on Marvel Zombies versus Deceased. So with that being said, guys, we're going to bring this video to an end. If you are new here to Comments Explained, Make sure you guys hit the sub button to become part of the Rob Corps. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, and I will catch you all later. Peace.